Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for this invitation. I cannot be with you today, but it looks very exciting and important as well. The best way to speed the transition to a green economy is to bring people together. Last week, Europe had a reminder of the many benefits. Green Week 2017, on the theme of Green Jobs for a Greener Future, highlighted the job potential of a greener economy. If we keep increasing Europe's resource productivity, we could create 2 million jobs by the year 2030. A circular economy provides new opportunities for businesses. It promotes innovation and gives companies a greater incentive to recycle, to repair and to reuse. And there are great benefits for citizens. Energy efficiency can generate real savings for every household. And as you will see today, going circular is also the best way to preserve our environment. Action on plastics will combat marine pollution. Preventing food waste will ease the pressures on habitats and biodiversity. And less pollution of the air, soil and water will improve our quality of life. Today, you will be looking at ways to finance this transition. My message to you is simple. Do not forget EU funds. Horizon 2020, the EU Fund for Research and Innovation, is setting aside 650 million euros for circular economy projects. Several billions of regional funding are available for EU member states to move away from landfills to recycling. We are also setting up a financing platform to spread awareness of private investments. And the Commission recently proposed to extend the European Fund for Strategic Investments and to link these funds to the COP21 climate deal. Good for business, good for people and good for the planet. But a transition to a more circular economy needs buy-in from everyone involved. That means policymakers, businesses, NGOs, and the general public. To get everyone on board, we need to sell the advantages. Bulgaria has many good examples to share. Sofia is showcasing the benefits of natural water purification with two million people now enjoying clean water from the protected areas of Rilla and Vitosha. Initiatives like For the Balkans and the People are showing how to promote local products working with farmers and with small businesses. Examples like these deserve a wider audience. The movement towards a circular economy is gathering pace. It's a long road, but we are on the way. All the best for the conference today and be certain to share the stories that you hear. Thank you.